Dominica's GDP is one of the lowest in the world. However, on the small island of the Lesser Antilles, the number of luxury hotels is on the rise. Open since 2019, Jungle Bay offers 120 cliff-top villas with a magnificent view of the Caribbean Sea. As you can see, it's all a very natural. It's, a, it's called, it's titled an eco-resort. Um, and uh, the, the owner of uh, Jungle Bay often describes it as a natural garden of Eden. Dominica doesn't have an international airport yet. On this volcanic island located between the French territories of Guadeloupe and Martinique, pristine white sand beaches are rare. But to convince investors, Dominica's government has a strong argument. Investing in Jungle Bay gives the right to each of the investors to citizenship in Dominica. Dominica's citizenship is on sale, and it is one of the cheapest in the world. There are two ways to obtain citizenship. Applicants can contribute $100,000 to one of the country's social programs, or they can invest $200,000 in the tourism sector, such as the Jungle Bay Resort. Kenny Green is a middleman in the sale of these golden passports. Most of his clients will never set foot in Dominica. What they are looking for isn't here. There are people who um, have stereotyped nationalities. In other words, they have a limited ability to travel. They are compromised by their existing citizenship. Most of Kenny Green's clients come from Asia or the Middle East. When they buy a Dominican passport, they gain access to more than 140 countries around the world, including Shenigan territories. To address the concerns of their diplomatic partners, the Dominican government has set up a due diligence process. And those required doc documents range from personal information to application documents, uh, medical questionnaires and certificates, bank statements, which have to be pretty exhaustive again because they are used for source of funds verification. But these verifications are conducted by private entities that only issue recommendations. The United States and the EU are concerned about this lack of transparency. The Citizenship by Investment program could be used for financial crime. Per a resolution adopted in March 2022, the EU Parliament asked the Commission to pressure third countries into reforming their CBI program. If the Dominican passport were to lose access to the Schengen area, it would become a lot less attractive. The clients are watching the situation very closely, and so therefore part of the communication, part of the lobbying that we are having to do with the EU and the United States is to basically express the importance of these programs to our economies. The income of the Citizenship by Investment program officially represents more than half of the government revenues. The donations to social programs grants access to a passport for only $100,000. This is used to build hospitals, schools or social housing, like here in Roseau, the capital city. Here we have the kitchen, the dining room. This is great, super modern technology. Oops, oops. <laughs> Karina John moved into this brand new flat last April. Christmas in April, it was Christmas in April. <laughs> Dominican citizenship is an unlimited resource. It channels funds into social programs. This has led to the party in power securing the popular vote. No rent, no rent. We're just paying our utility bills. These funds are managed by MMCE. This private company is based in the United Arab Emirates. It is developing real estate projects for the government. Oh, you should have seen the inauguration. People were so happy, they were crying. They were literally crying. MMCE is managing more than 22 construction projects, including an upcoming international airport with an estimated cost of 350 million euros. It represents most public contracts, all assigned without any bidding. We're, uh, we're well known here and uh, uh, I guess people like us. <laughs> the opposition's main concern is the de facto MMCE monopoly. The Prime Minister told us that this money that he was collecting to build housing in Dominica was not coming into the Treasury of Dominica as required by law. It was staying in some escrow account outside of Dominica. Officially, 
The sale of passports accounts for $1.2 billion in revenue from 2017 to 2020. After reviewing the issued certificates of naturalization, the opposition has put forward a different estimate. There is $4.2 billion from the sale of Dominican citizenships that have not come into the Consolidated Fund of Dominica. What we are dealing with is a case, an open case of misappropriation of the monies that belong to Dominica. The government denies these allegations. And while the leader of the opposition supports the Citizenship by Investment program, he fears that this lack of transparency will impact the country's international reputation. That is a concern of the responsible governments around the world, that you cannot have countries selling passports that become tools in the hands of criminals to facilitate them in moving seamlessly across international borders with the privileges that are accorded to the Dominican passport. There are now more than 100 citizenship and residency by investment programs throughout the world, including several in the Caribbean.